20 ones. If you're doing these, you're missing out on bicep growth. These might be one of the silliest little ideas that the fitness industry has ever come up with. Welcome back to Wolf Coaching, soon to be Dr. Milo Wolf here. And today we're talking about 21s. Here's why I have beef with 21s. My PhD is actually on range of motion and muscle hypertrophy. So I'm kind of an expert when it comes to this whole muscle length, 21s, and hypertrophy research. Let me give you a quick breakdown of what 21s are. First, you use seven bottom half repetitions. You just go halfway up and come back down. Then, you do seven top half repetitions. You go from halfway up to all the way up. And then finally, you do seven full range of motion curls, going from all the way down to all the way up. And here's where my PhD comes in. Recent research has uncovered the importance of the length and position for hypertrophy. Specifically, there's been five studies comparing the bottom half or so of a repetition, that's called a length and partial, because that's where your muscle is lengthened, to a full range of motion repetitions, like those seven full reps you do at the end of 21s. Out of these five studies, four studies have found a benefit to doing length and partials over a full range of motion for hypertrophy. Here's beef number one. The barbell curl, the exercise that the 21s are typically performed on, is not a great exercise for the biceps. It is already quite easy at the bottom and most challenging in the middle or top of each rep. So you're not really getting good stimulus in that lengthened position and other exercises that more heavily load that lengthened position will very likely give you more muscle growth in your biceps. Beef number two. In addition to this, by making you do top half reps and full range of motion reps, you are mostly training your biceps in the shortened position, not really in a lengthened position, which is better for growth. As I mentioned earlier, emerging evidence suggests that the lengthened position is really important for growth and doing top half reps or doing full range of motion reps really removes that emphasis on the lengthened position, which is thought to be key for hypertrophy. Finally, beef number three. This is a minor quibble, but 21 reps is a lot of reps. A lot of people will struggle to go close to failure while doing 21 reps. And we do actually have research, check out this video here, showing that going close enough to failure can double your muscle growth. So if people are doing 21 reps, getting a crazy burn, and not getting close enough to failure as a result, this is probably gonna hold them back. Check out this video here for more information. So 21s are a bad option because they don't really challenge you in that stretched out position. They make you focus more so on the shortened position. And finally, it's a lot of reps. So what do I recommend instead? I recommend the Bayesian curl or a cable curl facing away from the cable. Specifically, I want you to set up a bench, sit down, set up the cable about hand height at the bottom of each rep so that there's the most tension in the lengthened position. Then let your arm come back and let your shoulder overextend. This will place a greater stretch on the long head of the biceps. In other words, with this exercise, you're able to most load the biceps and elbow flexors at the very bottom of the rep where the biceps and elbow flexors are most lengthened and you're getting a greater lengthening of the biceps long head by hyperextending your shoulder. So you're getting a super long biceps and elbow flexor and you're getting the most resistance and challenge at the very bottom of the rep. This is going to be by far better than 21s could be for bicep growth. Finally, you get to sit down and who doesn't like sitting, am I right? Anyways, that was a short video on why I don't think 21s are a good idea based on the science. If you liked the video, please comment, like, subscribe, check out my other videos and I will see you guys in that next one. Peace!